Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some dive bars. This is dive bar nutrition. These were sent to us from the company, so I want you all to know that. Uh, this is the divorce cake. This is trash can cookie, dump truck brownie. And I'm not reading this wrong. It's peanut but her chocolate chip, and then it's a salted caramel pretzel. Yeah, I'm sure uh, uh, people would think words. that it was a typo. <laughs> it's not. That's two words. So this is the divorce cake. I have no idea why they named them the way that they did. You might be able to go to their website and find that out. I don't know. Um, work hard, play hard, stay crazy. This has 16 grams of protein, 7 grams of fiber, 90 milligrams of caffeine. So it does have caffeine in it. It is no, a, lot, no 220 calories for the entire bar. I mean, if you drink a soda, they probably have as much as that. <laughs> it says uh, not a diet or low calorie food product will not prevent pregnancy, nor will it enable drunk driving. Uh, what is Let me see if it says something else. It's hard to read on that one. Um, nothing can reverse last night. Don't mess up. <laughs> That's what it says. Okay, so these are distributed out of Venice Beach, Florida. And uh, that's all. Sounds like a very tiny, cheap, uh, funny company. Ooh, you need to hold that up. If you can, maybe put the plate behind it if you need to. It's very pretty. It looks like, the picture looks like it would be like confetti cake. It, the first ingredient, it has whey protein, corn fiber, tapioca syrup, brown rice syrup, almond butter. Uh, They're very dense bars. Ordinarily, you wouldn't count them. No, just buy them. It's a vanilla I like flavor. Mm -hmm. They're calling it divorce cake. It would taste, taste like birthday cake. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's, um, when you're cutting it, it's very dense and sticky. Mm -hmm. well, not sticky, sticky, but just a little top. Um, when you're eating it, though, it's not that bad. I actually like that. And a lot of times the protein bars will be very, very strong. This is not. This it's like is a protein one. bar flavor. Yes, this is one that I can eat because it tastes like birthday cake. It tastes, it has a strong vanilla flavor, mm -hmm. but it's very sweet. That, I like that one. Yeah. I'm not for a little bit of an aftertaste, but it's not bad. It's just a little bit. And this is trash can cookie. Same thing, 16 grams of protein, 7 grams of fiber, 90 gr milligrams of caffeine. This one is 230 calories. Okay, and you want to hold that up. You'll hold them all up, I know you will. Well, okay, I can so, put it up like this, but it's better if you just get a picture at the end. Oh, okay. You'll see it. Uh, it looks like it has uh, chocolate chips and M&M's in it. Too. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, don't, please don't cut I'm going to cut finger. myself and just going to flick it in the floor. <laughs> um, These are tough, dense bars, I'm telling you. It, well, and normally, like I said, you would not be cutting them. These have uh, peanut butter, uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips. I like that one. I like the flavor of that. I get a little bit of the peanut butter flavor. It's mm -hmm. not like really strong, but I get a peanut butter flavor. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of the chocolate chip flavor. Mm -hmm. The good thing is the bars themselves are not a really strong protein bar kind of flavor. No, they're not. I still get, just like the first one, I get a little bit of a bitter aftertaste. I don't know if it's the caffeine. But there's something that's just a little touch of bitter. It's the exact same aftertaste I had with the with the divorce cake one. Um, I like this one. When I first put it in my mouth, I tasted the um, the peanut. No, yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say peanut butter, peanut flavor. But then... I got one of those candies, and I'm just mm -hmm. gonna call it an M&M, whether yeah, it is or not. Is. Um, I got one of those M&Ms in my bite, and so I got the crunch of that, but I actually really got the strong taste of that too. Mm -hmm. So I got the chocolate from that M&M or whatever it was. I like that bar too. Yep. Mm. And good. I did I not some... think it had, to me, I didn't get the bitterness that Kevin's yeah. talking about, 
Um, I just thought it was a nice bar. It's not strong or anything. It's just a little bit of an aftertaste for me. An like aftertaste. I, okay. and, it, and it could very well be the caffeine or something. Just leaving a little bit of a little bit of a bitter taste out. Right. Kevin's more sensitive. Like I can still taste time. it. Um, taste it right now. This is dump truck brownie, and this is 220 calories. And they they say this as well, but the the 90 calories that they have you is see the red candy on the side. It's basically equivalent to a cup of coffee. Yes. So dump truck brownie. 220 calories, like I said. This one has peanut butter. It, they use uh, this one uh, uses stevia, semi sweet chocolate chip. They're very, like I said, they're sticky. This one's stickier than the other ones. You got two more? Mm hmm. Make a room on my plate so I can cut it. That one, once again, it's not that, that does, these just, they don't have that protein bar taste flavor to me, which is good for me because right. I don't want that strong protein flavor. I don't like it. That one um, is just a very general, this to me was probably the least flavorful of the ones we've tried. That one had the most of that bitter aftertaste for me. Um, this one I was I think because the other flavors aren't as strong, that one was the strongest. This one was, uh, it, it, it's a very plain flavor. I think it's good, but the first one had that vanilla flavor. The second one had that, I got that M&M flavor uh, and the peanut. This one, it's just kind of, for a minute there, I thought, is this going to be like a Tipsy Roll flavor? But really, that didn't come across either. It's If I had to describe it, I would describe it as a more of a Tipsy Roll flavor than anything. But it's not bad. It's just the plainest to me. So, are you ready to move on? Yeah. Cool. The next one is Peanut But Her Chocolate Chip. Um, this one is 220 calories. They actually put caffeine in there. I'm wondering if that's not the taste. Because the flavor of that one was a little lighter, um, I got a little bit more of that bitter aftertaste afterwards. See the chocolate you know? chips, yeah. It was a little stronger for me in that chocolate one. Uh, this has uh, peanut butter, brown rice syrup, stevia, cocoa. Oh, I'm not done yet. These, <laughs> they're dense sometimes. I bet these would be good heated too. It'd be even stickier though. It'll take you while you eat them. That one um, is okay. It uh, there's a sharp flavor to it. Mm -hmm. See, that's the aftertaste I'm getting for all of these. Okay. This one, maybe because there wasn't other flavors to cover it up. Yeah. This one had, does have a sharp flavor. It doesn't taste like protein, though. It's not a protein flavor. No, it's almost, it's it's like an additive of some kind they put in there. Right. Like it's I, just, that's why I'm thinking it might be the caffeine. It might be the caffeine. Something. It's something sharp in there. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, but it would not be my choice. It's almost Our like, choice. I don't want to say it's a chemical like flavor because it's not really a chemical flavor. But I see what you're saying about it, that. It's, it's this little, like there's something that doesn't belong there. Right. It and seems it, like it that. It could be the caffeine, but for me, that was the only one so far that's had that. But if you have a sensitive palate like Kevin, then know that. To that, like the, the flavor, whatever right. it is. Uh, that was the only one that had that so far. So salt That's probably oil. the worst one. Yes. Salted caramel pretzel. Well, then that has to be what yeah. you Yeah. Uh, 220 calories. What's this one? Salted, Salted caramel. caramel pretzel. Mm -hmm. So, this one has almond butter. See, that first one was made with almond butter, too, and I really like that one. Almond butter, malt syrup, stevia. I get where they're going with the caramel. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if I like it. No, I, 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 I can tell you I don't like it. I didn't get pretzel. I didn't get supposed to have pretzel? Yeah, no. salted caramel pretzel. No, it tastes like something you've scraped out of a pan that's been scorched and burnt. Bitter, to me, mm. super, super burnt, bitter flavor. I did not get any pretzel like at all. Like chemically almost. That, um, that's a very chemical-like flavor to me. We've had things before that are supposed to have maple. And yeah, we, that, that's a chemical maple. And we kind of say flavor. it's a chemical maple. Mm -hmm. That would be a chemical caramel. It is very, very, very strong chemical mm -hmm. flavor. Yeah, artificial as can be. So it's not a burnt caramel, it's not a sweet caramel. That would be, I think that's the first time I've ever used that because we usually are saying that about maple. And it kind of reminds me of that chemical, chemical maple. Yes, but. no it does. I see where it's see what you're saying, absolutely. Um, that one is probably the, my least favorite of, of all. Oh yeah, of them. I would never eat that. Like one. somebody has to come in last. This one's at last because I would not choose this one again. Uh, because, I mean, I didn't even get any pretzel, did you? No, I didn't taste any pretzel. I don't, I don't see any like, pieces uh, of pretzel. So that would be last because it is very chemical-like. And then I wouldn't get the peanut butter uh, but her either. No, I wouldn't. Um, but, that being said, I really genuinely like the divorce cake, which tastes like birthday cake. Um, I like the uh, the trash can cookie. Uh, these were my these were my favorite too. Mm -hmm. Is the trash can cookie because you did get the M and M and the peanut and the divorce cake because it tastes like birthday cake. Um, the dump truck uh, dump truck brownie. There was nothing wrong with it. It just really doesn't have a strong flavor any way you go. It's just kind of a middle of the road bar that's not going to give you a lot of anything, but good. It's it's a good flavor. So. And if you're more sensitive to bitter, you're just gonna have to buy one and try it. Don't buy yeah. a bunch of them; just buy one. Yeah. Try it out. Um, they because I, those were also my two favorite out of the bunch. These were your yeah. two. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I would go to their website, and it's divebarnutrition.com. If you go there, we will not know. Like I said, they sent these to me for free to try, and um, so I don't know what kind of specials they may or may not be running. Uh, but you might be able to uh, get some kind of a variety box where you're getting like one of each. That would be the way to go because then you could try try one of each yourself and see what you think. Uh, if you do, leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought. And thanks for watching.